What do you think is the role of UX? Oh. It should be plainly evident to all of us that you know experience matters more than ever before, right? Uh, you know, the out of box experience for every product uh, is critical to its success. In fact, you know. I often look at teams that don't have a designer on board or at least somebody who's contributing in a serious way as uh, you know, really handicapped <laughs> because uh, they're not going to be able to put a product together. Uh, they're not even going to be able to articulate it to stakeholders or investors because a little bit, you know, you need to sell a dream even if it's a startup, right? Uh, and part of that dream is selling the experience. They're like, what is it you're going to sell to others? And you need to convince people of that. So oftentimes I tell people, you know, and you need to convince yourself too, that what you're building is what you, uh, you know, this is the experience you want to build and deliver and stand by. It's going to be your brand. Uh, it's going to it's going to articulate what it is, the value prop you have as a company. Uh, so, you know, and the, and the world is so competitive now. You're literally one click away from, you know, being rejected, right? So if my experience on, Ola is bad, I'm one click away from Uber. In my experience of Uber is bad, I'm one click away from Taxi for sure. And they're all the three icons right beside each other. Okay? So it doesn't take me a lot to switch. And you know, I don't have, you know, it's not like I hate any one of the companies or anything, but there's nothing, you know, I need to cap, I need to get somewhere, and you know, if, if that experience is broken for whatever reason, uh, I'm abandoning quickly, right? So loyalty is very ephemeral. Uh, you know, out of box experience is extremely important as a result. Uh, I think uh, you've got, uh, it's not just UX, it's CX in my mind. It's the customer experience that matters. Uh, and I use customer in a very broad sense because customer, let's say, let's just take one example. Let's take the, you know, what we all know, like the Ola Camps app. It's got many customers, right? When I'm about to order the cab, I'm one customer. <laughs> When I'm sitting in the cab, I'm a different persona. The driver of the cab is also using that app. He's a different persona. So there's so many experiences there. And then there's obviously somebody else who's probably using it too. In the back office, you know, all of that also stuff. Also the experience of not having to pull out your wallet to pay the cab. Yeah, yeah. so it's a, there's a bunch of dependencies. There's the payments process. There's the cancellation process. There's the remediation process where there's an issue, you know, so it's the entire experience matters, right? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, you know, especially in payments, for instance, with two-factor and all of that, you don't control everything. <laughs> You've got to work within that framework, right? So just to answer the high-level question, I think product uh, design matters more than ever. I think it's an area where we actually uh, lack talent in the country. It's a big gap. Uh, it's hard to... Uh, for companies to get to a world class level without great design now, you know, fundamentally. And you know, those that get there, it's not it's not a it's not a given that just because you have great design it's gonna be a great product or you know a great company. But you know clearly those that don't have it will, will, will have a much harder time succeeding, right?